Well, I did it. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And just sitting here, I was gonna take a nap before my flight, but I'm just filled with uh, too much excited energy. Th so I thought I would take this moment to uh, document my pre-trip thoughts and expectations uh, uh, of my first trip to Thailand. Well, technically it's not the first time I've been to Thailand. I, I was actually in Thailand uh, back in 95, 96 uh, when I was in the Navy. Uh, we stopped in uh, uh, Phuket for about three days. I was able to get off the ship one of those days. And, uh, you know, I just remember the excitement. Uh, you know, that to me, that was what the Navy was all about, was uh, going, hitting these overseas ports, going to new places, meeting new people. And uh, I just remember setting foot on that beach and was just an awesome experience the place was beautiful uh the water the beach the you know the sights sounds of everything going on and i just remember thinking to myself back then that someday i wanted to go back and here i am 30 years later uh and it's finally finally gonna happen and uh you know i i retired from the navy back in 2015 and, you know, that was one of the things that I was looking forward to was doing some traveling, you know, revisiting some of the places that I went to while I was in the Navy on active duty. But this time at my own pace, uh, going and, and doing it my way, not having to be restricted by curfews and, and things of that nature. Uh, and seeing the places that I want to see, spending the, the amount of time that I want to spend. So... But, you know, due to certain things that happened after me getting out of the Navy, uh, namely, well, the, one of the big ones was the, 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 the pandemic, the shutdown. Because I had, you know, I had made plans before and it just, like I said, things happened. And so it always kept getting put on the back burner. And, uh, but, uh, you know, due to some, um, some family emergencies, that happened in my immediate family over the past couple of years. I just decided that, you know, you, you, you might as well, you got to take advantage of things, of opportunities as, as you know, while you have the chance because you only get one go round. So one night, uh, several months ago, I just jumped on the computer, started researching uh, flights and prices and things of that nature. And so I just went ahead and, and just booked it. You know, didn't really, didn't really have a big plan at that point. I just felt like, you know what, it's now or never. I got to do it now because if I don't, I may never get, I may, it, I may put it off and just never get to it. So, so that was, I think I booked it back. I want to say I booked it back in January and, you know, I did, uh, did the usual things that someone does is I jumped on YouTube, started watching all kinds of videos on Thailand and uh, watched all kinds of YouTube channels that are based out of there. And, and there's some really great ones. There's a lot of good information out there. Uh, how good? I don't know. I haven't been there, but it seems like these folks know what they're talking about. Uh, I try to stay away from the ones where it's just guys walking up and down the street during, you know, filming the bar girls and things like that i mean i mean i'm sure that has its place but it's not doesn't really help you know in the planning planning process uh but uh so yeah that's and so that as as i sit here right now uh my flight will be taken off in less than 12 hours so uh so what are my thoughts right now Right now, I'm just filled with a lot of uh, ner you know, nervous energy, excited energy. You know, uh, I'm really looking forward to being back there after so long. You know, what's what's different? Uh, um, and uh, I just, like I said, I've I've watched all the videos, I've done all the research, and 
I think you reach a certain point where it's like you can only do so much research. You just got to get out there and do. So yeah, so as far as my ex expectations goes, um, from what I've heard or what I've been what doing on my on my research, uh, this is like the rainy season, so uh, I'm expecting some rain for sure. Uh, I'm expecting it to be hot. You know, that's what that's what everybody. That's the recurring theme of what people tell me is, it's, you know, it's, it's hot and it's going to be rainy. How rainy? I, I mean, I don't know. It seems like depending on who you hear, it's either going to be really bad or not so bad. So I don't know. Um, I'm kind of expecting that uh, there's going to be some really good street food to take advantage of. Um, I, I'm not super adventurous. I mean, I, I'll try certain things, but... Uh, I, I, I can already say right off the bat, I'm not, I'm not going to be eating bugs. I know that. I, I've seen that on some videos, and I, I'm definitely going to try to avoid that. Uh, you know, the hotels seem like they're all, you know, at least the ones that I've been looking at, they look very nice. I know the one that I booked, and I'll give you the details on that later. Uh, it was, you know, looked really clean, looked pretty kind of modern. Uh, doesn't, didn't look run down so uh, the people the people look you know pretty friendly uh, very hospitable uh, we'll, we'll, you know we'll see when I get there I mean I have like I said I haven't been there once 30 years ago but it's you know 30 years it's hard to remember every everything that you did uh, I know that uh, you know that, that there's you know, there's some craziness involved with the with these uh, bars and stuff. So, uh, not sure what to, not sure what to expect with that. You know, I'll be honest. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. You know, I just thought I'd document this because, and we'll see how this matches up after I've been there, and uh, we'll see how things match. What would I, would I like it? You know, uh, did something? You know, something? You know, something crazy gonna happen? We'll see, but uh, but I'll give you the details on what I've got booked so far, what I've got lined up so far, and I'm sure all you Thailand uh, veterans out there could probably laugh at me. You know, you'll probably hear what I hear what I have uh, booked, and you, you know, I'm sure I'll get some grief for it. But hey, you know, I'm I'm the I'm the Thailand rookie, so. Uh, the newbie, as it were. So I'm, I expect that I'm going to make some mistakes. I'm probably going to over, overpay for something, but you know, it's I'd rather get out there and and and, and do it, make those mistakes, and sit at home and, and just wonder and watch everybody else. You know. So so far, I booked my flight. It's on uh, Eva Air, and I watched the the airfare. It seemed like it went up and down there for a while. And I was able to finally get a flight for about thirteen hundred dollars, uh, so I feel like I feel like I did pretty good on that. I, I mean, I know some people might say, "Oh, that you paid too much," but it, you know, it was from Houston to uh, you know to Bangkok and, and with a change of planes in Taiwan. So it's a fifteen-hour flight, two-hour layover in Taiwan, and I believe it's. I want to, it looked like it was about a three hour flight or so from from there down to Bangkok and so I'm staying 25 days and so for the first couple of weeks I decided you know and I went kind of back and forth on where exactly I want to go the places I want to see but I kind of I finally settled on going down to Pattaya for the first couple of weeks and I got a room uh, for 20 bucks a night uh, it's 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 at the Scenery uh, City Hotel, I think is the name of it. It's kind of a weird name, but I looked at it, you know, saw the pictures, and, and you know, hey, pictures can be deceiving, but uh, it looked okay. The reviews looked good. Uh, I watched some videos from people that stayed there, and they seemed to like it. Um, Location-wise, it seems to be kind of in the centrally located for a lot of stuff. But uh, we'll see, and, 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 and that's going to be kind of my home base down there. Now, I may, uh, I may try to go visit some other places. I may try to zip down to Phuket or something for a couple of days. Uh, kind of playing that by ear right now, but, but that's what I got lined up so far. And I booked a, 
a uh, driver to drive me from the airport in Bangkok down to Pattaya, which cost me about 40 bucks. And, um, and I know, I know already somebody's probably going to say, well, yeah, you can take the bus or you can take the train and it's a lot cheaper. And, and I'm not, I won't dispute that. Um, uh, you're, you're definitely right about that, but I know how I am, uh, with, with flying on the plane, traveling by, by plane. And, and after a 15 hour flight and then another three hour flight, I'm expecting, I'm probably going to be pretty, pretty tired. And so going to a, a new country, place I've never been before, I felt like maybe it'd be better for me just to book, book a driver. And, uh, because who knows what, what shape and what mental state I'm going to be in by that time. And at least that way he can drive me straight to the hotel. Cause even if I took the bus, or some other mode, they're probably gonna drop me at a central location and I'm still gonna have to get another, another cab or something to the hotel. This way I just get it out all in one shot. Well, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how that works out. Uh, how that, you know, did I, did that, was that a bad idea, who knows? But yeah, so far that's all I've got. Um, but uh, feel free to let me know in the comments uh, what you think of that. If you got any pointers, any tips, let let me know. But yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm just kind of sitting here making some last minute uh, checks on my luggage and uh, make sure I got all my documents printed out and stuff. Having have stuff on my phone, everything. So that's that's about all I got uh, to say. I just, just want to make keep it short and sweet. Don't want to take up too much of your time, but uh, you know. Thanks for watching, and uh, hey, if you like this kind of content, consider hitting the thumbs up on the way out, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, it helps the channel grow, helps push the message out to the masses, and uh, I will let you know on the other side uh, how it went. So, uh, have a good day, and I will see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.